Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to talk about a bunch of Season 4 leaks. Now these were all leaked by Serezio, Mr. B, or Technical B, and of course Delta Index. So shout out to all of them. Those are like the main leakers right now. But yeah, today we're going to cover all the Season 4 leaks that we know so far. And yeah, with that being said, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about, which I think is possibly the coolest thing here, is Campaign AI. Now this one isn't necessarily a leak as this has been confirmed by 343 themselves that they were going to add campaign ai to forge although the thing we don't know is when as they say here at a later date they plan on adding it but it seems like it may actually come in season four and you may be asking why well let's go ahead and look here so serezio actually went ahead and discovered i guess some code or something that shows that they're implementing like ai stuff so let's go take a look at the first one here so as we can see here he says firing points and squads possibly being a part of forge's ai tool set and he also says here on a different tweet saying that ai stuff has started to get added into forge and not only that but a while back there was actually like gameplay of having ai on the forge maps but i think they got taken down by microsoft or something or at least the creator of that video took it down themselves i don't know uh but i couldn't find any of it so but yeah it seems like it may be a possibility it could be coming in season four which is definitely going to be awesome if it does so moving along here we also got some modes that may be coming in season four as well which Serezio actually talks about so he says here season four there'll also be forge firefight forge minigame alongside Koth PvE and Extraction PvE. Now this was him replying to someone talking about like the campaign AI and Forge and stuff. Um, and that would make a lot of sense if campaign AI does get added in season four, then it would make sense that we get some sort of mode that associate with, you know, the campaign AI, which would be Forge Firefight. Uh, Forge minigame, I guess that's something else, but Koth PvE and Extraction PvE, that would, you know, that'd make perfect sense. So it seems like we're going to be getting all these modes sometime in Season 4. We also got a few other modes here. This was leaked by Delta Index. And so we got mini games, which is the one I talked about just earlier. Seems like we're going to begin a mini games like playlist, which if you don't know what that is, it's uh, more of like the wacky modes, something like Duck Hunt or you know just more of the wacky stuff but in like a matchmaking experience i guess in like a playlist or something like that and we also got infection which i talked about in a previous video if you guys want to check that one out but to sum it up uh this one may be added either this season or next season on to the next mode we also got slayer btb heavies which i've been looking forward to this for a long time i'm i'm excited i am actually yeah i'm pretty excited that we're in this mode um it sucks how it <laughs> took this long but yeah, I think Infinite desperately needed that mode because the vehicles were very lacking in the original BTV. Um, so I think that could possibly help out there. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I am a huge BTV player, so I'll definitely be playing that a lot once that arrives. And the very last mode is Banished Slayer Fiesta, which I'm assuming is just, well, Fiesta with banished weapons. Nothing too interesting there, but a bit more variety. I'll, we'll take it. Why not? So yeah, those are all the modes that be could be coming in Season 4. But anyways, moving along here, we also got the event dates for uh, Season 4. You know, the narrative events and all that kind of stuff. So the first narrative starts on June 20th. The first Fracture event starts on July 4th. And then here's the interesting part. We got another sort of like new event experience is what it seems like here, which is called Casual. Um, not sure what's going on there, but I'll take a new event experience if that's what it is. Um, who knows? But uh, yeah, anyways, week two fracture is on August 1st. Narrative two is on August 15th. Week three fracture is September 5th. And then we get a week four fracture, September 9th, 19th, not 9th. Uh, and yeah, that's all the events, all the dates. We don't know the names of them yet, but we got the dates there. Alrighty, so now since we covered all the campaign AI stuff and the modes, let's go ahead and move on to the armor customization. So of course with a new season we're going to get a bunch of new cosmetics. And yeah, let's get right into that. So let's start off with the Mark 7 core. So according to Delta Index, the Mark 7 core will receive 8 new helmets next season. In season 2 we got, I believe, 5 new helmets. So not only is the Mark 7 core getting some new helmets, so is the Uri core, which I honestly did not see this coming. So it seems like the Uri core is making a bit of a comeback. It's getting some new helmets, one new glove, six shoulders, and three new knee pads. And the fracture cores definitely are lacking when it comes to armor pieces. 
Although I will say, I think the Yorai had like the most out of all of them. So it is kind of funny seeing this one return, but it seems like this might be uh, the fracture for season four. It's like a returning fracture kind of thing. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to begin some new stuff for the Yorai core. I'm hoping one of the helmets is a Hayabusa because uh, I mean, it would fit perfectly on this core. All right, so now let's get into some more interesting stuff here, which is new visors. It seems like we're getting a new sort of visor here. So Delta Index leaked this quite a while ago and he said that there's a new feature of the new armor visors in season four and i guess they're called customized visor or visor however you want to say that interface and refractive coating and so he goes on talking more about it and he actually lists the names of the new visors which we got here season four teal orange yellow hazard green emerald silver and cyber cool and to me this seems like we might be getting animated visors which i'm not gonna lie i am quite shocked that infinite never really got anything animated like animated weapon coatings or really anything especially considering that in mcc we actually had animated visors that kind of stuff would definitely sell or it could be something entirely different who knows but uh it's definitely uh intriguing so one of the new armor cores that will be arriving in season four has been leaked now currently it's just a name and the amount of helmets so right now according to uh, delta index here he says a new armor core codenamed has will arrive in season four and he also says that it will have 13 helmets which is quite a lot of helmets i don't think i've seen any other fracture core well that's if it even is a fracture core it could just be uh just like a regular standard core uh but that's quite a lot of helmets um, and apparently it's supposed to be like a hazmat kind of core and it might go along with like flood related stuff and that's what led leakers to believe that infection would come in season four because it would make sense if it comes with this uh you know new core it would make a lot more sense at least that's what it seems like to me or who knows maybe it could be the return of the flood i think there was actually a leak of like a flood map coming later down the line like way in the future Alrighty guys, so that's about everything we know so far in terms of customization coming to uh, Season 4. Now let's move on to the maps that may be coming in Season 4. So according to Serezio, we may be getting Engine plus Forest and maybe Crystal Caves as a third map. So let's start with the first map. The first map is a BTB map and this one was actually leaked by Delta Index. And yeah, we actually got a picture of it here. So here is Engine. I believe the name was updated to Scar according to uh, Serezio. But anyways, um, yeah, here's the BTB map that we may be getting in uh, Season 4. So it seems to be just another Banish facility. Facility. I'm not too big on this map. Um, I don't think the aesthetic is everything. The layout could be really well and it could be a good like combat flow. Uh, who knows? Now let's move on to the arena map, which is Forest. Now this one was leaked a while ago as well. I believe someone actually managed to play on the map as well. But um, yeah, a lot of those videos got removed, I think, or the creator just got rid of them. But uh, yeah, anyways, we got a picture here of the new map forest. And this one, yeah, maybe coming in season four. So here it is. It looks a lot like from the campaign mission Delta Halo, I believe, in Halo 2. Um, and yeah, this is definitely more of a unique arena map compared to pretty much everything we've gotten before. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. I want to see more unique settings. I'm tired of just seeing a bunch of unsc stuff and forerunner stuff you know i want to see a bit more variety and i think this definitely adds to it and i'm looking forward to this map so there's a cool little feature about this map apparently you can die in the waterfall on this new forest map so i don't know how that's gonna work maybe i guess maybe if you jump in the waterfall you just die or something <laughs> i don't know but uh yeah it's quite interesting all right so let's move on to the third map which apparently is crystal caves that could be coming as a third map now this one has been leaked as well by one of delta index's members and yeah so we actually got a picture of that one as well and this one seems to be a blamite cave i believe that's what the needler stuff is called and yeah it seems to be either i'm not sure if it's an arena or btb map i'm going to assume it's an arena map i could be wrong but um yeah another unique setting this is the kind of stuff i want to see Alrighty, so that's all the maps that we may be getting in season four now let's move on to one small thing one last one last small thing i want to share which we don't have much info on but i want to share it anyways and that is the progression system so we got a bit of info on that so one of delta index's members tweeted one time he said fun fact there are currently 30 career rank emblems listed and he continues to say probably these are the career rank rewards and not only that but delta index also kind of jumps in on this and they say career rank could come next season there will also be rewards for career ranks which just goes back to what the other guys said um it seems like it might just be emblems that we're getting so for people who were you know hoping for like a little more to it like maybe you'd get a helmet or something um 
it might not be that i think it just it just might be emblems you get for leveling up and stuff so a little more info on that we also got technical halo otherwise known as uh, mr b i believe before he went as e or something like that i just call him mr b <laughs> i don't know but um yeah he shared this little bit and we got like the cadet bronze and we also got the 272 emblem or rank thing <laughs> i don't know seems like that's what shows up when you rank up and all that um but yeah that's quite interesting so yeah we definitely do need a progression system and if it comes in season four that will be great as well so yeah that's about everything we know so far about season four but yeah that's about everything let me know what you guys think i'm mostly excited for campaign ai i think that's going to be great progression system uh that's also going to be good it seems like this season if we get all this stuff in season four it seems like this might be uh yeah, it might be the best season out of all the seasons we've gotten so far. Because uh, it seems like each season is getting better and better, which is exactly what we need. Um, some may say it's a little too late, which I would, you know, somewhat agree. But for people who still play this game, uh, yeah, it's it's great additions. With that being said, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this or just Halo videos, yeah, be sure to sub and like. And I also got memberships now, so for those people who want to go further, support me more, uh, definitely join the membership. Got a few perks there, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.